Hey, what up? It's Ty 1822. Did John Cena bury Bray Wyatt? Now, when I watch him Bray Wyatt, John Cena last night, and I start seeing John Cena just giving Bray Wyatt these suplexes, I'm like, oh, I know what Dylan E going for. And he was owning Bray Wyatt. And today I'm seeing a lot of videos on John Cena. Of course, you got a lot of people who are mad at the fact that John Cena was owning Bray Wyatt. Why? And, you know, of course, everybody throwing their favorite word out, Barry. Barry is the most used word out of all wrestling fans on the Internet. But did Bray Wyatt really get Barry last night? Now, here are my thoughts on this right here. I understand what WWE is going for. John Cena got beat down at SummerSlam by Brock Lesnar to lose his titles. So now they want John Cena to just run rough shot through people because he's pissed off what happened at SummerSlam. So they take a guy like Bray Wyatt, who feuded with John Cena, who always gave Cena a run for his money. Bray Wyatt is a strong character. So they needed somebody for the selling point to the fans that, you know what, Cena is just ready to run rough shot through Bray Wyatt, and then he did last night, prepare himself against Brock Lesnar. Now, of course, you have a lot of the wrestling fans who, of course, are really smart wrestling fans. They, you know, when they see stuff like that, they have a huge problem with that. But you also have other fans who they is selling that too. They're just not selling it to us, the internet wrestling fans. They also sell it to the other fans who don't care as much as the internet fans do. So, a lot of fans don't feel the same way as internet fans feel about John Cena, Bray Wyatt. What they want to do is he have a match against Brock Lesnar. You want to build up John Cena against Brock Lesnar. You don't want John Cena to look vulnerable upcoming match against Brock Lesnar because that will kind of make the feud seem off. Because then you'll be like, oh, John Cena, can he defeat Brock Lesnar? You had an underdog story. What John Cena did to Bray Wyatt last night, it takes away that underdog story, which actually makes me happy. So they just wanted to show people that John Cena is going head in to United Champions very strong and ready to go against Brock Lesnar. Now, I understand why people are, of course, mad about this because the history of John Cena, we know, you know, there's a lot of times, there's a lot of superstars, he beat it, he never been the same. So that's why a lot of fans are pissed off at the fact that John Cena got Bray Wyatt like that last night because the history of John Cena, and we all know that he loved to protect John Cena. But it's all about the selling point for nine champions. He will run through Bray Wyatt. He might run through more superstars just to head to his match against Brock Lesnar. So it's not going to be an underdog storyline like I expected because he got beat down so bad by Brock Lesnar. So this is what WWE was going for. It's not about burying Bray Wyatt because if Bray Wyatt really was going to be getting buried, let's see what happened in the next couple weeks on Monday Night Raw. If he start losing the R-Truth, yeah, he's getting buried. If he end up losing to like Tyson Kidd, yeah, he's getting buried. But last night, Bray Wyatt didn't get buried. It just was a selling point with nine champions that John Cena ran through somebody like Bray Wyatt because he is ready for Brock Lesnar and that rematch right there. So I cannot call it a burial because it's all about the selling point for nine a champion. It wasn't about making Bray Wyatt look bad. It's all about making John Cena looking strong, heading to his match against. Brock Lesnar. So that's my thoughts right there. Give me your thoughts on this. Did John Cena bury Bray Wyatt? So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.